Solving Bengaluru's urban planning crisis will not be an easy job, but here's one that is. Imagine being paid to do nothing. You don't have to think too hard. I have a story for you. Meet Shoji Morimoto, a 38-year-old Tokyo resident who gets paid to do nothing. People hire Morimoto to do nothing, and I'm not making this up. Sometimes people hire him to accompany them to dinner. Sometimes he's hired to be a plus one. Sometimes he gets paid to just listen to his client rant. And this one time, he was hired by a person who wanted a send-off. So Morimoto waved at this client as he sat on a moving train. Another time, he went along with his client to a park and they two, the two played on a seesaw. That's all the effort that he's willing to make, he says. He's open to eating, provided the client pays the bills. He's open to drinking, provided someone else picks the bill. Sometimes, he may also answer simple questions, but only with simple answers. Nothing more, nothing less. His terms and conditions are quite clear. He won't ever start a conversation. Also, if you want to take him out, you must expect nothing. People might think that this doing nothing service is valuable because it's also a form of being useful. That is what people often say about my service as well. Hashtag life goals. Morimoto never aimed to land this dream job. He was working at a publishing company, he says, and wasn't really a star employee. He says he was chided for doing nothing. So one day he decided, why not monetize this talent, doing nothing? In 2018, he opened a Twitter account. Soon he realized how lucrative doing nothing can be. Today, he has thousands of followers. A lot of his clients are repeat customers. One person, in fact, hired him nearly 300 times. So he must be very good at doing nothing. All in all, Morimoto says he's been hired over 4,000 times so far. Last week, a 27-year-old Indian client hired him. She wanted to wear a sari in Japan, but she wasn't quite sure how her friends would react. Enter Morimoto. He accompanied the woman and said nothing. She sat draped in her favorite nine yards, eating cake and sipping on some tea, and Morimoto sat with her, doing nothing. And his services don't come cheap, by the way. He charges around $71 an hour. He also does not entertain strange requests. Sexual favors, he says, are a big no-no. He also once turned down the offer to move a fridge because that is work. And Morimoto excels in doing nothing. One client asked him to accompany him to Trinidad and Tobago. He refused. Traveling so far was too much of an effort. But he does go to nearby places, and once he's there, he does nothing. What's the logic? Why do something when you can get paid to do nothing? <laughs> I'm the rental do-nothing man. I provide a service where I can be rented to do nothing. Morimoto's story is bizarre, but so are the times we live in. Today, there are jobs that pay you to eat candy, to sleep, to accompany clients to weddings, even to cuddle them. Sometimes you're paid to be a listener. You know what they say about flowering where you're planted? Morimoto's story provides you the alternate point of view. You don't have to flower in your desk job. You don't have to fit into the template that the society has given you to be a doctor or engineer or teacher or an MBA, to have a nine to five job. If there's something that you're really good at, something that you like doing, it's worth taking a chance. If you can be paid for doing nothing, well, the sky is the limit. And don't get bogged down when someone tells you you're good at nothing, because in this world, even that can be a USB. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.